All right, so we're going to get started today with our materials. We have our coffee, our fresh brewed coffee, our natural objects that we collected on our nature walk, as well as a piece of paper and, of course, some good lighting. I would also include a paintbrush because that's going to be essential for our work. So first, dip into your coffee. The best way to get different layers and this depth of value that we've been talking about lately is to start adding layers over and over again. Make sure they dry in between. So you're going to paint, then you're going to let it dry, and then if you want it to be darker and have that really nice, rich, dark value of the coffee, you're going to keep adding layers. That's going to be very important as we move forward. So you can see here that I'm re-dipping my paintbrush back into the paint and then reapplying it onto the work as well. So make sure to let those areas dry. Wherever it pools up, it's going to have that dark, rich tone. And I also put a base coat down underneath my painting just so that we wouldn't have the white of the paper. So I took a really, really nice light touch, did the background, and now I'm adding details in. So you can see here I did a little bit of an acorn. I added in the texture. And then now I'm adding in my dark linear lines to show the texture that I saw in the object that I collected from nature. So now you can see I have my dark values. I have a couple different objects, a pine cone, a leaf, my acorn, and also just some other foliage from outside. Now I'm going to go in with a micron pen. You can also use a sharpie. You can use a pen of any kind or even just a really hard pressed pencil. In other words, you're just going to press a little bit harder. You can see up there at the top of the video, I have my little leaf that I collected from outside too. It's like a branch of leaves. And now I'm going to be doing a contour drawing of that object as my final piece on top of my painting. So that painting we did with the coffee is serving as our beautiful background for our drawing. And now I'm going in and creating a contour drawing. We've done this a little bit before in our classes. But I want to make sure to remind you that with these contour drawings, I push you to try to keep it one line. In other words, we're going to be continuous. Our point of our pen or our pencil or our marker is not going to lift off of the paper. And if it does, we're just going to go back and revisit that area again. The way that these drawings will be stronger in the end is if you're adding a lot of details. So go back in if an area looks empty revisit it, add more details, and we will see where this drawing takes us. So you can see here I'm moving about halfway through that part of my drawing and I'm adding in more details. Don't get stuck in one area. If you really need to revisit an area, look at the shape, decipher what shapes you see because that is our emphasis for this week is shape. So concentrate on the shapes and the lines that you see. Try to match those exactly as you draw on your painting. So now I'm going back in. I'm adding those small details, making sure to pay attention to exactly what I want to draw. You can see here I'm adding those curved shapes, some longer linear shapes all while keeping in mind to move my eyes back and forth from the object back to my drawing. You should really be looking at your object 70% of the time and then looking at your drawing 30% of the time. So you're just kind of making sure that you're in the right place, you're checking back as to where you are, and taking a look at the values you're adding as well. And like I said, we're just making a goal of creating a continuous line drawing. But if you feel like you need to stop and kind of reassess where you're at, these are not required to be continuous line drawings. We just want you to include as many details as possible. So again, really concentrate on those shapes, make it a dynamic composition. And at the end here, don't forget that we're using coffee. You can use Instapot, anything that works for you. And that's my final piece. You can see we have a diagonal going across. My background is full, but not too full. We're looking for a well thought out composition. So keep in mind that we're focusing on shape this week. When in doubt, add more details. 